Hello once again fellow flight simmers. It's been a while since I recorded a video. Uh, you know, work and life keeps us busy sometimes and we don't get to do the things we like to do as often. But um, I'm making this video in response to a question or a comment that I got on one of my previous videos regarding the use of relays, um, you know, in your SimVim cockpit build. So basically what I'm referring to is uh, I don't know if any of you have ever used them, these uh, relay boards that you can use with Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, um, basically to power uh, higher voltage devices using a lower current, current signal. Um, so right here in my cockpit, I, I only have three 12 volt lights right now that I'm using and I couldn't find any five volt, um, like lower voltage uh, lights. To use with these switches i probably could have wired something up or whatever but I, I just figured i found these already with the way they are so i decided to use them so i have um this master caution switch over here the fire warning light and the parking brake light and all of those are 12 volt lights so if i tried hooking those up to a 5 volt power uh, voltage uh, they would have been too dim and I did try it, you know, just to try to avoid um, having to do what I'm about to explain in this video. But yeah, so they were too dim. So I decided to try to figure out a way to, to do it. And I had already used some of these um, relay boards before for another project, um, actually with 120 volt um, heat lamps and light bulbs. So they definitely would work with the 12 volt one because it's you know it's just much safer because it's much lower voltage um, but anyway so the switches that I got they they look like this the one the master caution switch over here and also the fire warning switch so it's a push button switch which has a light a little light bulb a 12 volt light bulb behind it so that when you know it gets activated obviously the fire warning or the master caution switch or the parking brake light will be on and the good thing about these is that it's also a switch so when you press the the button in you can reset that alarm that went off um, and these right here oh before I go any further I don't know if you can see the mess behind my my panels here you can see the relay board back here um, mine has four relays but I'm only using three of them right now like I said one for each of those lights now that switch that I'm using, it's this is how it looks in the back. Um, so basically, you got the contacts for the light on either side of it here, and then you got these three over here, which is a uh, common, the ground, and then one of them would be normally open, and one of them would be normally closed. And it's the same thing that the the, the relays have. Now, if you know. The basics about electronics you know that if you want something to normally be on and it gets turned off whenever that signal comes in then you would wire them to the normally closed if you want them to only turn on when that signal comes in then you want them to normally open so that it can close when that signal comes in um, so I made a, a little diagram here <clears throat> to try to explain how to wire them because I think this is a this is a thing that the person was asking me about is how he's having issues with wiring this and um, and you know so I decided to make this little diagram I don't know if it's gonna be easy to understand I try to make it as clear as I could um, so basically you got your relay board here so you're gonna need to provide the board with a 5 volt power and ground so I got those from the Arduino. So you take the, you know, out of the five volt pin, you take out the five volts, you put it into the board here on the VCC, and then you take the ground, the same thing, and you go and put it into the ground pin. Um, these four pins right here, they go to the in one, two, three, and four on the relay board. And those are the signals that are gonna control each one of these relays. So each one of them has a separate signal. Um, and you can put these to any pin that you have programmed to be um, whatever is going to trip that light. 
you know in my case you know one of them was for the fire warning the other one was for the the I'm sorry the fire the master caution switch which is the yellow one and then uh, the parking brake I just put it green right here just to differentiate it um, all right so you send those pins out and then I just got a regular 12 volt power adapter like one of these and you can do it however you want to do it but I just bought you know I have a bunch of those laying around actually so I just decided to use one of those I split off the wires and I made myself a little distribution block to get multiple leads off of there um, you can do this any way you want you can actually just you know splice a bunch of uh, wires to the positive and a bunch of wires to the ground and you can do it that way but I, I kind of find it neater to do a little a distribution block I guess you can say that's what I called it here and that way you can take your your leads that are going to go to each one of the relays and then distribute it from there now the one that comes from the power supply needs to go into the common which is usually the middle one on, on these um, relay blocks the other one that's going to go to the light you need to put it on the depending like I said before depending on what you want but normally it, the light would be off unless the alarm trips so you, you would put it on the normally open and the other one would be the normally closed so you're not going to use that one unless your specific um, case you know requires that so you take each one of these to the to the lights one for each one obviously and then uh, you take all the grounds basically that you got off of the power supply the same power supply and you take them to the negative of those lights all right so that would make the lights turn on that's as soon as it gets the signal from the Arduino uh, on that specific pin it'll basically cause the relay to close and then it'll turn on your light now for the switch part of these things um, they have also separate you know positive and negative uh, connections there and these are going to go basically you're going to it's going to be an input on the Arduino for SimVim cockpit so when you press the button it's going to send a signal to the Arduino to that pin you know that you designated um, to reset the alarm the master caution or the fire warning light or the when you you know turn off the parking brake it'll turn off the parking brake light and then you're going to need to get a ground also that um, is common to the Arduino for that because the signals are coming from the Arduino or they're going to the Arduino the ground has to go to the Arduino as well and I also did little power distribution blocks for ground from the Arduino because you only have a certain amount on the board and if you're going to use um, you know 30 or 40 grounds in your project then you, then you need to make a distribution block so you can tap off of that one and all of this of course you can use um, multiplexer boards for both the inputs and the outputs you know it just depends on how you have your um, your whole setup you know wired and on the website on the SimVim cockpit website there is a lot of information I mean they they explain everything they draw it out so nice that you know even if you really don't know anything about wiring you can pretty much learn it from there um, so one very important thing and I'll show you some pictures right now do not make the grounds coming from the 12 volt power supply and the grounds going coming from the Arduino for the switches do not join them up I made that mistake as uh, I can show you on this picture actually on this picture you can see that I had the basically the ground from that goes to the light bulb and I used it and it goes to the to the ground or the common for the switch and what ended up happening is that it was sending the 12 volts um, from the light source you know the light power supply through the distribution I'm sorry through the multiplexer boards and the multiplexer boards were overheating like crazy I mean they were so hot it almost felt like an iron so do not make these two lines common um, as you can see after I figured that out because my multiplexer board were, were acting really really weird and that's when I noticed that it was getting extremely hot 
I cut the leads <laughs> you can see that it's cut right here and it's cut right here so now this is going to the ground for the power supply the 12 volt power supply and this is going to the ground for the Arduino ground um, so just make sure that you don't do that because you can have those issues um, I'm glad it didn't get burned up or anything because I caught it pretty quick but uh, that's something I didn't know before so and I am you know I, I'm I was barely learning electronics I'm, I'm not very experienced um, I was taking some classes that I had to stop taking because I moved out of that um, area where I was taking those courses and I never continued going again but either way um, the little uh, distribution blocks that I'm talking about is I did kind of something like this so basically the white one up here on top I have a bunch of um, you know five volts um, lines that are tapping off of that and then I have on the bottom half of it here I have um, basically some grounds so that I can just you know get a bunch of grounds and a bunch of five volt rails off of there and the bottom one here this is my my distribution block for the for the bus you know so the the eight wires that are coming from the Arduino to go to all the multiplexer boards um, this is where I'm bringing them in from the Arduino and I'm tap, tapping off of here to go to the to the little MUX boards that I'm using for basically having a whole bunch of connections as I ran out of connections on the Arduino so when I started you know it looked pretty neat you know it was it was just like that and I think you probably saw it in other videos already that you know after I got going it became very convoluted very complex and I even had to add a second um, distribution board for the bus because I already had I think about eight eight or nine multiplexer boards I think I have a total of like 260 switches and lights and buttons and all kinds of stuff so so yeah so it got pretty messy I'm still trying to find a way how to do it a little bit better but basically that's um that's what I did um, I'm not sure if uh, it made sense uh, I'm gonna just recap it real quick one more time so basically you take 5 volts and ground to the relay board you take the output pins which are gonna turn on your lights to the inputs here and that's gonna turn on each one of these relays you get the 12 volt or whatever voltage power supply you need you bring it into the common on each one of the relays and then you take it from the normally open to the lights or motors or whatever you're going to use that requires that voltage and then on the other side for the switch you're going to take the signal pins going to the Arduino or to the multiplexer boards and wire them in their respective pins and you're going to take grounds that are common to the Arduino and hook it up that way and that's pretty much all you need to do in order to get the you know relays working uh, so far they work like a charm for me so hopefully you guys especially the person who had that question can get it to work for them all right guys well hopefully I'll make another video I've been wanting to make another video about uh, using uh, condition switches to use the same buttons and the same switches for multiple functions depending on a, on a condition of a certain pin so hopefully I'll be able to make that one soon all right all right, we'll see you guys next time.